Hello everybody and welcome back to my Houston Texans Slow Sim franchise. We're in the final week of the regular season and we are 8-8. Eight eight. Six teams in AFC have clinched playoff spots. However, the bad news is we are tied with four other teams or five, I have five other teams, I should say, for, for that last spot record-wise. So there's a total of six teams in the AFC who are all 8-8 eight and eight fighting for that last playoff spot. And unfortunately, we have the worst conference record among that entire group. We're only 3-8 and eight in the conference. So I, the program doesn't tell us that, we are, uh, that we're officially eliminated, but... I don't see. A, I just don't see a way we can make the playoffs. So I'm going into this next week assuming we're not going to be able to make the playoffs. Uh, we have the Indianapolis Colts next, our division rival, who also has won the division. We take a quick look at them. They're actually second in the league in rushing yards, averaging 153 yards a game. So they have a tough running game, obviously, with two great running backs. Uh, they do, interesting enough, they're, they're dead last in the league in takeaways, don't, with only six takeaways the entire year. But they're second in the league in giving up rushing yards and only giving up 80 yards a game. So... Pretty stout defense, even though they don't come in a lot, they force a lot of turnovers. They have lost three of the last four games. And we actually played them uh, way back in week two, and they barely beat us 24 to 21. The Texans played a good game, but we couldn't quite get the, get the victory there. So it'd be interesting to see what happens this game. Taking a quick look at the power rankings. Again, these, these power rankings have been weird for the last several weeks. They have us ranked 11th. I, I, don't, I just don't see how that's possible. Uh, we're ranked 14th offensively and 24th defensively. <laughs> so that, that, that doesn't equate to us being 11th overall. So not sure. Not sure why that is. They, I'm guessing the, the 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 overall power rankings take a lot into account how you how you been playing recently. That's the only thing I can think of. So anyway, we we are a five and a half point underdog on the road against the Colts. Let's see what we can do. Let's go in game. Okay, looks like we got some players to upgrade. Damian Pierce, our starting running back. They're going to continue to upgrade his elusiveness skills here. CJ Stroud. It's good to get him an upgrade. We'll upgrade Fields General. Nico Collins, our starting wide receiver. Uh, let's go with Playmaker here. Corey Littleton. Pass coverage, I think, is obviously the best choice here. Make him a scheme fit. Our lousy punter, Ty Zettner. We'll just go with accuracy here. We'll upgrade Jake Hansen. And finally we have our fullback, Troy Harrison. We'll just go with utility. So 
So one one quick thing I want to do before this game is take a look at the depth chart uh, of our offensive line here. We do have an injury to our starting right guard. And Jared Patterson's a rookie, and I think he's in the best position to start now. So I'm going to go ahead and make him the starter at right guard. Being that Shaq Mason is out for one week. And so now I think we're good to play our game against the Colts. Texans come out in eye formation. And Pierce is going to get the run up the middle for about four yards. I formation once again for the Texans, this time with two receivers in the game. Pierce gets the ball, but is hit immediately by Buckner for no gain. That's going to make it third down and six. Stroud back to throw, and Nico Collins couldn't come up with it. Looked like he had it for a second there, but it is incomplete. And that's going to be a three and out to start the game for the Texans. And then the ball is, the punt is fair caught by the Colts where Anthony Richardson comes onto the field. Richardson having a great season. Only four interceptions. Colts take over at the 24 yard line. In the shotgun. Texans showing blitz. They back out of it though. Richardson back to throw and he's gonna take off up the middle and get about nine yards. That's the one thing Richardson can do. So second down is short. Colts already shotgun on second and one here. And to give us to Taylor for about five yards, that's going to be a first down. Hand off to Taylor again. This time he gets, gets about six yards. He's second down and four. And the handoff is to, I didn't catch who got that, but there is a penalty on the Colts against Michael Pittman. So that's going to set the Colts back at, to the 36 yard line. It would be second down and 12. Quick throw by Richardson and that is caught for eight yards. That is Woods on the reception. It's be third down and four now. Richardson back to throw and dive and catch is made for a first down. That was Pierce, I believe, on the reception. So Colts come come out on the, in the shotgun once again. First down and ten at the forty-six. Richardson's dropping back. He's going to throw it deep. And that is caught. That is Pierce once again. As the Colts now have it deep in, in the Texas territory at the 7-yard line. 
Pierce already with 48 reception yards. They give us to Pierce up the middle, and he goes nowhere this time for no gain. Second down and goal now for the Colts. Richardson fakes the handoff, he pulls it, and he's going to lose three yards. Deshaun Perryman with the great great defensive play there. It's be third down and goal now at the 10-yard line. Richardson drops back. He's going to take off once again, and he's going to get it into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, the Texans have not been able to stop Richardson with that run up the middle and that was just an easy run for Richardson there Colts attempting the extra point And it is good. It is seven nothing Four. Colts. The Texans. To third down and ten. Richardson back to throw. And that is caught for a first down. That is Pierce once again. Pierce is just killing the Texans so far. That's his third reception for 65 yards, and that goes for a first down. Taylor with the handoff, and he has some room on the right side there, and that's going to be a, another big game. And another first down for the Colts. Colts now up to the 36-yard line of the Texans. Taylor takes the handoff. Not much doing there. Maybe a couple of two yards. Ward once again with the tackle. Handoff is to Zach Moss, his first carry. That's going to be for about three yards. And it's going to be third down and five now. Let's see if the Texans can get off the field here. Christian drops back. And once again, he's able to escape up the middle after facing some pressure. That play has been money for the Colts. This, in, this entire game so far. So now the Colts have it at the 21 yard line. Quick throw. But not much doing there. That's not, that's not going to be any gain on that play. That is Pittman with his first catch. But it didn't go for any, any yards. Second down and 10. Richardson drops the, drops the throw, and that is caught. And that is going to be another first down. This time, it's to Downs, his first reception for 10 yards. Taylor with the, with the carry this time, and he's going to lose two yards. Taylor's a little bit slow to get up. Second, it'll be second down and 12 now. Clock running out in the first quarter. Richardson, Richardson throws, and that is going to be caught for about eight yards. This will be third down and four now. The Colts can get a first down without getting a touchdown. But that's going to be the end of the first quarter. We're going to score 7 0 Colts. Oh, 
Richardson drops back, and that is almost picked off in the end zone. So the Colts are probably gonna bring the field goal unit on the on the field. This will be a chip shot, 21-yard field goal. And the kick is up and it is good. And it is 10-0 Colts now at the beginning of the second quarter. Stroud's back to throw. Can't find anybody. He throws it to Pierce in the flat. And he is nailed about a yard short of the first down. Let's see if the Texans go for it here. They are at the 44-yard line of the Colts. And they are going to go for it. Boot, looks like Boone's in the backfield for the Texans here. He gets the handoff and he gets enough for the first down. So Mike Boone, with his first carry, gets the first down on fourth and one. Stroud back to throw. And that is caught by number eight, Mechie. Mechie the third, his first reception. Stroud gives it to Pierce. He has some room. That is a first down. So the Texans are driving here. They're on the 30-yard line of the Colts. Stroud drop, drops back, and that is caught. That is Woods, I believe. That's his first reception today as well. So make it second down and three. Play action by Stroud. He throws to the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown. Brevin Jordan, the tight end. Scores on a on a 22-yard touchdown. Perfect pass by Stroud there over the defender. So Texas on now for the extra point. And that is good. And the, the Texans cut the lead. The Colts lead 10-7. Stroud drops back the throw, and that is caught by Dell. So 18-yard gain there. And the Texans are now in the Col in Colts territory. Pierce is drilled as soon as he got the, got the handoff there. That's going to be a three-yard loss. Buckner once again on with a big play there for the Colts defense. Stroud drops back, and that is caught by Nico Collins for about six yards. That's, gonna be, that's still going to be third down and seven, though. At the 38 yard line. Stroud drops back to throw. And that is caught. Nico Collins with the catch all the way down at the 15 yard line of the Colts. Wobbly throw there by Stroud. It didn't look like it was going to be a completion, but Nico, Nico Collins was able to come up with a catch. So first down at the 15-yard at line. And Pierce 
Not much running room there. It's be second down and nine. That was one yard gain. And there's a flag on the play, and this might be a false start. And that pass is deflected. Be third down and 14 now. Stroud drops back to throw. He throws to the end zone and that is a diving catch made by Woods for a touchdown. Nice throw there by Stroud. As Woods was able to Make a diving catch there. So Fairborn comes on for the extra point. And that is good, and the Texans take, actually take the lead now, 14 to 10 over the Colts after getting down 10 nothing. Richardson with the ball, and he's gonna get sacked by Will Anderson, the rookie. So that's going to make it second down and 16. And that's going to be a two minute warning. Texas up 14 to 10, but the Colts are threatening. Richardson drops back the throw, and not much doing there. It's going to. It's still going to be third down and 17 after that completion. Richardson takes the snap. He throws it. To, I believe that's Pierce, but it's, that's going to be fourth down. And the Colts are going to bring the field goal unit onto the field once again. This will be a 34-yard field goal. Kick is up and it is good. And the Colts are going to cut the lead, the Texans lead to 14 to 13. So Texas taking over at the 25 yard line after the touchback. One minute, 27 seconds left to go in the first half. Stroud back to throw. He's gonna throw it deep and overthrow. But there is a flag on the play. And roughing the pass is gonna be called against the Colts. It has to be an automatic first down, bringing it to the 40 yard line. So Texans get a bit of a break there. Stroud back to throw once again. And that is caught, that was caught by Schultz. He actually lost a yard there. We second down and 11. Pierce goes in motion. Another short throw there to Schultz. He got a he got about three yards on that. Third down and seven now. Pierce gets set in motion once again. Stroud throws and he overthrows Pierce. 
along the sidelines. And that's going to make it fourth down and long, and the punt team is going to come on for the Texans. Where the Texans are up 14 to 13 on the Colts. Colts will be getting the ball first in the second half. Jonathan Taylor with 56 yards rushing in the first half. He did have a couple of big runs. Richardson once again in the shotgun. Play action to Taylor, and that is gonna be incomplete. Nelson on the cover for the Texans. This will be second down and 10. Richardson drops back once again. And that is going to be caught by Pierce, I believe it is. Be first down and 10. Pierce with 90 yards receiving so far. Taylor gets hit in the backfield. That is a good play there by the Texans defense. That's going to be a one yard loss. Second down and 11 now. Richardson back to throw. He's getting, he's going to get sacked once again. I believe Ford, that's Ford and Will Anderson each are going to get a half a sack there. It's be third down and 12. That was a one yard sack. Richardson. Takes the ball. He's going to throw it deep. And that is caught by Pierce. So Pierce having a field day against the Texans defense today. Already has six catches for 136 yards. And Richardson just threw a sky high pass. And let his receiver get underneath it. So now it's going to be first down and 10 at the 19-yard line of the Texans here for the Colts offense. Richardson throws it out to the flat for Taylor. And he's going to be tackled. He's second down and nine. Only a one-yard gain for the Colts. Richardson quick throw and that is caught. That is, Wood, that is Woods and he has a first down at the eight yard line. They give us a Taylor and that is going to be a touchdown for the Colts. I'm sorry, that was Zach Moss. As Taylor was getting a breather there, Moss came into the game, gets a handoff, and gets a touchdown. And let's see if the Colts go for two here. They will. Richardson back to throw. And that is complete and caught, for, and the two-point conversion is good by the Colts. Stroud under center gives the handoff, and that is Pierce. All, he's, he has some room to the left side, and that is going to be a, a gain of 11 yards. That's going to be another first down for the Texans offense. Stroud now in, in the shotgun at the 38-yard line of the Colts. Pierce gets the handoff. He makes he makes some a couple of defenders miss in the backfield and manages to get five yards. That very easily could have been a three-yard loss.
Stroud back to throw. And Schultz is able to come up with the catch. And that's going to be a first down. Stroud back to throw. Schultz with the catch. And he's going to get about nine yards. Let's make it second down and one. Stroud play action to Boone. Is in the backfield and that is going to be incomplete as he overthrew Collins a little bit in the end zone. See third down and one now. Pierce back in the game in the backfield. Pierce gets the handoff and he's going to be short. He needed one yard but he didn't get it. It's going to be fourth down and one. Let's see if the Texans go for it. And the Texans look like they're going to kick a field goal here. Fairborn in to kick. Be about a 35 yard field goal. And it is good. And the Texans elect to not go for it there. But they do cut the lead to 21 to 17. Pierce has some room to the left side. He stiffs on the defender and he gets he's all the way down to the 46 yard line. Nice run by Pierce there. He gets a good block by number nine, the tight end on the outside. So that's gonna be a first down at the 46 yard line now. Stroud play action. He's getting some pressure though and he has to get rid of it. He's second down and 10. Stroud in the shotgun. Stroud throws and Nico Collins with a nice catch up the middle there. He had a defender near him but, near him, but he was able to make the catch. So that's be first down to now at the 38 yard line. Stroud drop, drops back and Dell is able to make the catch along the sidelines for six yards. Second down and four. Stroud drops back. Oh, and that is almost intercepted. Bad decision there by Stroud to throw it. He's fortunate that wasn't picked off. Third down and four. Stroud drops back. He has Schultz along the sidelines, but that's be way short of the first down. And... That is at the 33 yard line, so we'll see if the field goal unit comes on the field for the Texans once again. So Fairborn has a 50 he has a 50 yard field goal attempt here. Kick is up. And I don't believe he made it. He missed it left. Taylor with, with a run to the middle. He makes a guy miss. He's still running. He's all the way down to the 30 yard line of the Texans. Well, 
as Taylor might be starting to run down, run down the Texans defense's throat now. Richardson, deep throw, and that is caught in the end zone by number 11 for the Colts. And that is Michael Pittman. And that was a huge play for the Colts there. Not a good play there by Griffin in the secondary. So Colts now kicking the extra point. And it is good. And it is now 28 to 17 Colts. Stroud throws it incomplete there. That's off the mark. It's be third down and seven. Stroud sets up the screen, but Pierce is not where he should be there. And that was an ugly series for the Texans, and they're going to have to bring the punt team on. Punt is caught at the 30. Richardson play, does a play action here and he's off the mark. Be third down and seven. Richardson drops back and that is picked off. That is Stingley. Uh, Nelson, that was Nelson on the, with the interception. It's a big play by the Texas defense here to potentially get him back in the game. As it was an ill-advised throw by Richardson there. He was intended for Pierce. So Stroud now gets the ball at the 45-yard line. Let's see if they could, the Texans offense can do something here. Handoff is to Pierce, and he gets about two yards. Stroud back to throw, and that is caught in traffic by Woods. Nice catch there. That's going to be a first down at the 36-yard line. Pierce gets the handoff, and he's going to get about three tough yards. To be second down and seven. And a flag is thrown, and this might be against the Texans, and it is. This will be a false start. To be second down and 12. Deep throw by Stroud, and that is caught once again by Woods. Nice throw there by Stroud, and an even better catch by Woods. Who caught the ball in between three defenders. It's going to be first down and 10 now at the 15-yard line of the Colts. And movement once again by the Texans offensive line. And that's going to be another false start penalty. So now it's first down and 15. Boone takes the, takes the carry. And he's going to get about four yards. 
It's second down and six. Stroud drops back to throw and he throws it near the sideline. I'm not sure if they're going to call that a catch or not. They did. That is Pierce with only his second catch. It's be third down and six at the 12 yard line. Stroud throws it in the end zone. That is caught for a touchdown. That is Schultz, the tight end. Dalton Schultz with the touchdown. And the Texans can now bring it within three points if they go for two here. And they will go for two. Stroud back to throw. And that is going to be incomplete. Out of bounds was Nico Con or Schultz, I should, say, I should say. He caught the ball, but he, his, he was out the back of the Second end zone. Down five at the 47. And Zach Moss takes the carry there. Not much doing. It's be third down and six. Texans need to stop here. Play action by Richardson. And that is incomplete. So the Texans get a stop, a much needed stop. And the punt's going to go out of bounds. Let's see where they call it. They call it out of bounds at the 19-yard line. So Stroud has an opportunity here to, to potentially take the lead with 3 minutes and 37 seconds left to go. Stroud gives it to Pierce. who makes him, who breaks the tackle, but is unable to get past. The second line of defense there, that was Blackman on the tackle. Second down and eight. Stroud back to throw. He throws it deep and it looked like he had Woods open a little bit there, but he, he was overthrown. He third down and eight. Stroud back to throw and he gets he's gonna get sacked. That was Pay who was there as soon as Stroud got the ball, received the, the, the snap. And so this will be fourth down. The Texans are gonna have to punt this deep in their territory with three timeouts left. First down for the Colts. That is a killer play there. Taylor with the handoff once again. And that is going to be about nine yards. And the Texans use a second timeout. And that is Zach Moss, and the Colts can kneel the ball, kneel the rest of the, the, the clock out here. And with that, the Colts win 28-23 over the Texans. And the Texans end their season at 8-9. and nine. Colts are going to have the playoffs to look forward to. And the Texans will be at home for the playoffs.
So Texans lose 28 to 23. Uh, Texans defense just did not play well, especially in the first half. Uh, looking at the stats. Alec Pierce, six catches, 136 yards. He single-handedly gave the Texans problems, especially in the first half. I think he had five, five of those catches in the first half. So, including a 46-yarder. So, Texans back into their defense has given them some problems during the season. We'll, I think we'll probably have to look into improving that unit in the offseason. Um, so, that's... I think that's pretty much what did it for this game. The Colts going 6-13 on third down conversions. 46%. That's not going to cut it either. Uh, you typically like to see that 30% or less. Um, so with that, we'll end the game. Let's go ahead and go through this. Make sure there's no improvements or anything we need to make here. Texans are not going to make the playoffs, obviously, with the loss. So we'll see what, the ha what happens with the rest of these Games, see who makes the playoffs, and see who goes to the Super Bowl. We'll find out, find that out in the next video. But it looks like we, I'm in, I can end the video here. I am going to slow sim the rest of these CPU games, and next time we'll, I'll show highlights of the Super Bowl. And we'll go on to the, our first off season where I think we have a I have an interesting uh, way I'm going to run next season and the off season. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so with that, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.